Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Pulev, the prediction. Knuckleheads, welcome to the Fighters Rep, where we give you free fights, interviews, and fight commentary from the mind of a promoter slash attorney. So it's going down on Saturday at the SSE Arena in London, England, December 12th. That's this Saturday. Anthony Joshua returns, and he takes on Kubrat Pulev. Now, this is very metaphorically fitting, right, this entire situation, because it seems that boxing and life is slowly inching its way towards normal. See, they're actually going to allow about a 1,000 people in the audience, I believe, for this event, which is a refreshing sight to see, especially since we just saw something similar in Errol Spence uh, versus Danny Garcia. But the same way we're inching, we're inching towards normalcy in boxing, Anthony Joshua's inching towards that Tyson Fury fight for that real undisputed heavyweight crown. And again, the only way to get there is to go through this necessary step in Kubrat Pulev. Now, I've been saying since this fight was announced that Kubrat Pulev is a bit of a live dog, and he is. But I think I gave him a little bit more credit than I should have. Now that I sit back and I analyze this fight, I want to share my thoughts with you guys on this fight and why I think, uh, or who I think, is going to win this fight. So Kubrat Pulev has 29 fights to Anthony Joshua's 24. And so one would argue that he's got more experience. But that's only quantitatively, right? Qualitatively, Anthony Joshua has the much better experience not only at the pro level, but also at the amateur level. As you guys know, Anthony Joshua is a former Olympic gold medalist. And he's also got the best resume in heavyweight boxing. I mean, you just got to go through some of the names on Anthony Joshua's resume. You've got Andy Ruiz twice, Alexander Povetkin, Joseph Parker, Carlos Takam, Vladimir Klitschko, Dillian White, even the lower rung guys, right? Like Eric Molina, Dominic Brazil, and Charles Martin. Those are guys that your average heavyweight could make a serious career out of fighting. Um, and I'm not going to say any names, but you know, that's what we see from a lot of these other heavyweights. It's almost as if Anthony Joshua is a man who's taken it upon himself to go after the next level guys, to put all those great scalps on his resume. And I think, you know, even though it got him in a little bit of trouble in that first Andy Ruiz fight, I think it's paid off for him. He's got the best resume in heavyweight boxing, rivaled only by Dillian White, and then I would say maybe Tyson Fury. I don't think anybody else comes close. Kubrat Pulev, again, despite the fact that he's got more fights than Anthony Joshua, if you look at his last fights, you've got Rydell Booker, Bogdan Denou, Huey Fury, Kevin Johnson, who's basically in there for a payday at this point, and a way past his prime Samuel Peter, who I believe retired on his stool in the third round when they fought. So, I mean... The level of experience is just on another planet, even when it comes to the amateur pedigree, right? I mean, Kubrat Pulev did win a bronze medal in 2005 at the World Championships, but besides that, most of his accomplishments in the amateur boxing circuit were limited to Europe, you know? So he doesn't have that diverse, you know, seasoning that Anthony Joshua had as an amateur and he definitely doesn't have the same quality as a pro. Another thing you got to look at in making the prediction in this fight are the physical advantages. I mean, all of the physical advantages in this fight are with Anthony Joshua. He's six foot six. To Kubrat Pulev, six foot four. He's got an eighty-two inch reach versus Pulev's eighty inch reach. And you know, he's thirty-one years old compared to a 39-year-old Kubrat Pulev. Now, I wouldn't count that as too much of a con on Pulev's side because we've seen heavyweights continue to improve hell into their 40s, but Kubrat Pulev isn't really that guy, right? Like I said, I mean, his last fight it was against Rydell Booker 
and uh, you know he earned a unanimous decision in that fight. So you know he's not really a guy that's aging like a fine wine the way Vladimir Klitschko did. Uh, I do think in this situation, particularly that Anthony Joshua's eight year age advantage is going to bode well for him in this fight. Look, I think you guys know where I'm headed towards this. The only way that Kubrat Pulev wins this fight, in my opinion, is if Anthony Joshua and his chin were compromised from that first Andy Ruiz fight and if he, you know, gets clipped and is unable to take the shot. You know, I wouldn't have said this before the first Andy Ruiz fight, but that was that was a devastating kind of knockout there uh, against Andy Ruiz. You know, he he got really hurt in that fight. And he took several hard shots in that fight and was apparently already concussed but going into that fight. So has his chin been compromised? We couldn't tell in the second Andy Ruiz fight because he changed his style up so much and he was able to avoid any exchanges really with Andy Ruiz. I did feel like when there were exchanges that he looked a little more fragile. So that's why I bring this up, you know. If he does get clipped by Pulev, how is he going to react? You know, that's something that remains to be seen. The jury's still out on that one. But if you ask me as of right now, besides that, you know, besides the questions surrounding where his chin is at, and maybe a lot of people don't agree with me there, but besides that question, you know, I don't see this fight even lasting the distance. My official prediction for this fight is Anthony Joshua stops Kubrat Pulev in the second half of the fight. It could happen earlier, but I'm going to say that it happens in the second half of the fight. If he fights more of a boxing style like he did against Andy Ruiz, you know, I think it takes a bit longer. If he fights the way he used to fight in that first Andy Ruiz fight and before that where he just kind of walks people down and bangs them out, I think he gets Kubrat Pulev out of there quick. Something tells me he'll probably employ a hybrid approach. Kubrat Pulev, as much as he does have power, he's only knocked out 50% of his opponents, and his opponents have kind of been abysmal. So I think Anthony Joshua will probably pay it, you know, play it safe at the beginning of the fight, get comfortable, work his way in, and then end up knocking Kubrat Pulev out somewhere in the second half of the fight. Uh... So that's my prediction, knuckleheads. My question for you is, who wins this fight and how do you see that happening? If you haven't already, hit the like button. Smash that subscribe button, the bell notification icon next to it. Join Knucklehead Nation, the most educated fight channel on YouTube, where as you support us and get your fighters rep gear in the link below, we got shirts, hoodies, masks, tank tops. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. As you support us by getting your items below, you not only help build this channel, you also help build the only kickboxing promotion that matters. Knuckleheads, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. This should be a fun one.